How's it going guys? Sandy Shreds here. It's been a while. I feel like I haven't done this video in fucking ages, you know. Uh, I think it's been around a month that I have, haven't done a video of Armsling Reddit. So uh, today, let's see what's going on in the Armsling world in the past uh, few days, because I, I won't be able to go through all of them. Uh, it would take me a month itself just to go through all of the posts, but uh, last week we'll probably get through uh, maybe in 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Let's see how it goes, but I'm gonna try to uh, make it a quick paced video uh, and uh, if there's a longer pause I maybe do some uh, editing and some cutting as well. But yeah, uh, hope hope you guys are doing great. So let's get straight into it, you know. What's going on in the Arnesling world? Uh, we see a post. Sagov signed a contract with East vs West and King of the Table. After having won 105 kilo class four times, Ibrahim Sagov will no longer compete at AMC and has now signed a contract with East vs West. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate that uh, Russian uh, league uh, has, uh, I don't know if they have lost uh, a very good puller, but. Um, yeah, that's that's very interesting, you know, uh, guys, uh, that he's going to be competing in East versus West, and uh, I wonder who's his next opponent going to be. I wonder, but let's wait and see. Maybe he will compete in April. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, knuckles up two. Adam Warzone, Warzinski versus Andre the Shark, Sharkovich. This was a very surprising match for me because I've seen uh, I, I I've gripped up with Andre. And I've seen him uh, do his training and all the lifts. Uh, he's crazy, crazy strong, but Adam was just on another level this day. I'm not going to show you the match or, uh, you know, uh, you can watch it on YouTube. But Adam did amazing in that first round. Total control, total dominance. It kind of looked like when Adam was pulling uh, Bacho, you know, just hand so strong, everything, you know. There was nothing Andre could do, but in the second and third round, Andre found a pretty sticky point in the hook and was able to put on amazing match. So please go watch it, guys. Hidden Freaks of Arms Link. Um, not sure what's that about. Ivan Matushenko versus Gennady Kvikvinia. What's this about? Oh, this is some old video of Ivan and Gennady. 95 kilo class. I wonder what the year it was. Ah, 2007's Lottie Tour. That's that's like what? Almost almost 20 years now, 17 years uh, from now. Uh, we can see Ivan with that with that hook, you know. Uh, he still got it today, and uh, you know, it's just amazing to see these 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 guys that are on the top of their weight class today compete like almost 20 years ago. That's just amazing. It shows how arm sling as a sport is just uh, so great. You can have super long career if you don't have uh, serious injuries or health problems or you don't push yourself too hard. You can just pull for 20, 30, even 40 years, you know. So that's that's what I love, love about this sport. What the fuck is that? Devon Laird out of context. What the fuck? What the hell is that? Uh, yeah, I've seen Devon having uh, a stem cell treatment in uh, Honduras, I guess, or something like that. And <laughs> yeah, uh, this <laughs> this looks kind of creepy, but you know, that's, what are you gonna do? It's it's Devon, and uh, he's pretty crazy. Michael Todd versus Lars Roberken just announced King of the Table. Uh, this is uh, pretty interesting. I saw Mike's video yesterday, and uh, uh, it's it was kind of a little bit cringe to me, but it was a great edit, uh, great, uh, greatly shot video, and uh, obviously he's making a comeback. Will it be the greatest comeback in Armstrong history? <laughs> I'm not so sure, because I don't think anything can beat uh, John's comeback, but yeah. Lars getting another match on King of the Table, big stage for Armsling and uh, putting his name out there. Last match he won 
in a tough tough fight against uh, Valera but uh, for Mike I think this match uh, could be could go both ways I think if if Lars like uses the press I think Mike can take the hand and probably put on a lot of pressure on the hand with his pronation and back pressure and Lars I mean Last time we saw he has a good top roll as well, but if he can find that press and press on Mike's arm with whole body weight, you no, know, get the shoulder inside, uh, we'll see how Mike's bicep holds up. I saw some Mike uh, video of him pulling against uh, Corey West and Mike looked pretty strong, so uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but uh, definitely looking forward to that and uh, seeing who wins where does comment I've read on Devon's Lair channel ever oh man Devon L Lornet is one of a kind Canadian and slayer of moose muscle mantis and beard destroyer slayer of all men and hero of mine <laughs> why why oh this is some uh, Devon Lornet simp 100% there are some sick people in this world, but uh, yeah, I've met some weird, weird fans myself, like that are a little bit like too much. Like, dude, like, just you know, back off a little bit. You know, I'm cool and everything, but just, just give me my space. You know, so a lot of guys will be right like that, like right straight in your face, like oh, asking questions and everything. Uh, which is cool, just great to meet fans, but sometimes it's a little bit too much, you know. I want to see East or West 12 in person. Who can I contact and how much does it cost? Well, uh, you need to contact Engin. Uh, probably the, the best option to contact uh, Engin himself. And uh, yeah, you will find out all the details uh, about the event there. I don't know, you can find... Uh, an email on East or West page, I, I believe, and uh, you can find Engin on Facebook and uh, Instagram and and whatnot. Michael Michael Todd Monster Michael Todd match is announced. Yeah, this was the video I was talking about. Not going to show it. Uh, you can watch it on Michael's channel. Uh, greatest comeback in Armstrong history. Will it be? I'm not so sure, but. Uh, great that he's uh, healthy and coming back. I wonder what Devon learned from this. He was clearly thinking afterwards. Jeez. What's this about? He's trying to break your shoulder as well. Well, there you have it. I think it's pretty clear Devon learned that Hermes' left arm is way too strong. So. Uh, that's what's up. Three Giants, Matt Mas, Dirk Smith and Mike Yellow. WAL days. Mike, like Derek looking super young, super fresh here. Uh, Matt looking like a complete unit. Form check, trade 39, posting back with lift. Let's see. Form check. Well... First of all, I would advise to keep your forearm and elbow more inside the body and uh, keep your arm generally closer to your body in the back and uh, I hopefully that table is strong enough because uh, you don't want to do some heavy exercises on some, on, on some uh, dodgy table uh, but uh, it's really hard to say here because uh, the table is way too way too way too low and uh, on on the real table your angle would be different but uh, the the cable angle and the forearm angle is uh, pretty good so yeah strong lift 39 kilos uh, I think uh, it passes you know there are some minor adjustments to be made but uh, not too bad Devon updates us, I think. Alex Toprols is Milo Larratt 
versus Whisperer. Uh, yeah, I saw this. Uh, Milo was pulling against Alex Toprol, and um, Ale Alex, uh, by the looks of it, was just uh, too strong. Was uh, kind of playing with him, but uh, Milo and and Odin especially. Uh, are two two young uh, upcoming guys and uh, uh, I don't know about Milo but Odin really works hard he really loves the sport and uh, uh, if he continues like that he will definitely be a uh, great great armstler uh, I'm not sure if, if greater than his uh, than his uh, dad but uh, he definitely has the genetics and the potential to uh, be be great if he keeps working hard uh, that's the thing in Armstrong, you know. Uh, you're not going to be a superstar in the day one. Most of us uh, won't be. For, for sure, there are some freaks in this world, but uh, overall, you know, you just have to work hard, believe what you're doing. You know, if you like what you're doing, uh, the results will come sooner or later if you keep working, keep pushing yourself, and keep getting better and stronger in the gym and on the table. Uh, keep working on, on your angles, on your positioning on the table, uh, pulling in, in in all styles. You know, you will get better. <laughs> you will get better uh, eventually. The intrusive thoughts one. Um, I, I'm not sure I can show it on YouTube, but <laughs> the lot lot of the boys having some fun in the snow. <laughs> Sus, what is this? Oh, it's me. Going deep, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the? Oh my God, whoever made this? Yeah, yeah. What What was this about? I don't even remember. Deep, you know, yeah. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, should the King's Move be banned? Uh, I don't think so, you know. I have nothing against the King's Move if it's done correctly. With the elbow on the pad and your humerus and your shoulder. Uh, not below the table. So, and your arm not completely straight, you know. I think completely straight arm should be immediate fall. And the uh, elbow below the below the surface should be immediate fall as well. But uh, King's move done correctly, like like this, in a good angle, you know. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. I don't think so. Matt Mask versus Dave Chaffee, good match. Both are on losing streaks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the with the right. Uh, I believe it could be a good match, you know. I believe Dave is not in the best shape. I don't know if he has uh, sorted out his uh, injuries, but uh, Matt Mask recently had done uh, pretty good, you know, although he lost his matches, but uh, he's done a lot better, especially against uh, Kodinchenko, who is really, really strong. Uh, he did great, and I think this match would could be, you know, good, uh, very good for the entertainment of the fans because both guys don't excel with the like best endurance although Dave Dave against uh, Lalatin that was a great great match but uh, yeah I think I think this match could be very good Devon Larity was an arm sling strap as his belt uh, yeah I know who you are but uh, this is a very well known fact uh, everywhere uh, Devon goes, he always has a, a one or two straps strapped around his waist. So everywhere he goes, he can arm slow. And it's usually the, the, the thick, like a uh, wider strap. He really likes those. Uh, I haven't really used that much. I think we used it when I was uh, with Devon last uh, summer, but uh, I'm not so sure. Um, for for arm sling, uh, it's good. 
that it doesn't put a lot of pressure on your wrist here because the, the standard strap usually digs in your uh, hand and it's almost bleeding right here sometimes but uh, with this strap uh, for bigger guys for sure it's great but for smaller guys I think it's just too wide and you can't really grip it right here you know it kind of restricts your grip a little bit if you're a smaller guy but uh, yeah Devon, Devon, uh, Devon does wear on his strap as a belt 10k super match real or scam uh, not sure what this is Paul Italia I guess uh, Paul Paul is always coming up with these 5k 10k super matches but I'm not sure any of those have happened uh, until now so I'm not I wouldn't look too much into it, you know. Dave Chafee losing streak continues. Uh, yeah, last five matches he lost to Sergey, uh, to Kamil on right arm, to Devon on right arm, to Revas on right arm, and to uh, Hermes on right arm. Uh, the most unfortunate thing that all of those matches were complete blowouts. And uh, I think he lost 3 2 to Sergey but uh, maybe not I uh, didn't watch event live so not sure but yeah he lost uh, all these matches and lost pretty bad so I'm not sure what's going on with uh, Dave but uh, hopefully because uh, that like the last match uh, he he won against Vitali was amazing you know and after that, it just went like like that. And uh, even against Hermes, he did, you know, ma manage to stop Hermes, and it wasn't that easy. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's 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 happening. Maybe it's the neck uh, or nerve injuries or any uh, something else. But uh, Dave definitely needs to. Uh, think about going forward and uh, if, if he really uh, wants to or needs to continue arm sling on the highest level because uh, he clearly has fallen a little bit behind the pack if in the last two years you know all, all I would say all of the arm wrestlers uh, in the East versus West and uh, like elites around the world has if I would say like they have leveled up you know a bit so Especially like guys like Devon and and, and Hermes, you know, uh, that I would say Dave, you know, is on kind of a decline right now. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully, he can uh, make a comeback as well and uh, continue armsling because he's uh, one of the strongest North American armslers there are. And uh, you know, it, it would be a great uh, loss to not have him active anymore. So, where are all the top armsters? So secretive about their usage uh, we can tell the i'll tell that uh, 200 plus back pressure lifts riser lifts girls are not natural literally be open with what drugs you are using uh, uh, i don't know i can i can only talk about myself uh, i believe you know it's it's no secret you know that on the very very top level especially super heavyweights uh, they basically all are on uh, on test or at least so and uh, some other stuff as well obviously but uh, you know on the level lower lower weight classes like especially lightweight middleweight you know you can easily like um, be on the top uh, without the PEDs and uh, uh, even in in, in hair weights you know uh, you can you can win VAF without PEDs, you know. You can uh, uh, like obviously not, you know, not all of all of like armslers. If you're gonna work hard, you know, or or you're gonna be as good as w uh, without PEDs as you would be with PEDs. Obviously, not all are are are. Uh, like uh, gifted enough or uh, doesn't have the genetics but it's it's definitely possible you know but 
if you want to take yourself to the next level like if you have reached like close to the top or like the almost top of your weight class without PEDs then it uh, makes sense to have uh, have some PEDs and uh, that can take you to the like next level you know uh, if you just take PEDs right from the start of your career like right from the first day of training uh, it's it's not necessarily gonna uh, excel you uh, higher than like the same guy uh, without PEDs just training for like I don't know the span of 10 years you know I believe at least 10 years is needed to to become great in arm sling to master the sport to the point where uh, you can uh, even if you're physically weaker you can over maneuver overpower your opponent with different uh, techniques and and uh, little little corks you know little uh, little tricks and uh, yeah but I would advise guy all of the guys most of the guys just just train without if you if you reach some national top level or international level close to the top top 10 top 5 uh, then if you want to step up your game you know uh, gain a little bit more horsepower then you need to well you don't need to but then you can it, it makes sense to uh, use something you know but you can easily well not easily it takes a lot of effort and, and sacrifice but you can achieve world level strength on table without PDs. There are many examples, you know. Matt Mask looks huge here, pictures from 2018. Yeah, back then Matt was uh, uh, in a great shape. I don't know if he was better than today, but like in in uh, in last matches Matt has been looking uh, pretty pretty much uh, similar to this one. So uh, hopefully he keeps improving and uh, keeps training and and then taking sport and training a little bit more serious and uh, hopefully we can see uh, a lot of wins for Matt in the future as well. So normally talking about a AWC and match was a banger. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about but uh, I don't know why uh, probably because like the, the like the events are happening basically at the same time like there were armors AWC at the same time uh, there are some uh, other events like this weekend obviously East, East versus West coming up and I think something else uh, it's keeping it's it's getting hard to keep track with everything there are so many promotions like and like there are just so much like people can talk about you know uh the attention span is is really really short like one day event two days later you know everyone's forgotten about it and 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 moving on you know so it, it's getting really really exciting but also really really tough to uh I don't know, like, uh, promotes, you know, all the events at the same time, I guess, something like that. Uh, I'm really big and threatening guys. Uh, yeah, Ryan Bowen uh, did good in AWC. Uh, he beat the South Korean champion uh, pretty convincingly with the top roll. And against uh, he was, the Korean guy was with a flop wrist press, and uh, couldn't do much against Ryan. And uh, now I, I believe Ryan is is going to have a match or, or has called out uh, RVJ or RVJ has called out Ryan. I'm not really sure, but uh, that's re that's really what happened. Uh, attending East versus West in person, you know. Yeah. If if you have any questions, please contact Engin. And uh, and ask uh, about all the details. Uh, he will uh, probably give better answer than anyone else 
good, you know. Levan, Levan versus Devon rematch confirmed for April 2024. Yep, East vs. West 12th, April. Uh, it's gonna go down. It's gonna be the most legendary Armstrong event till date, I believe. Uh, I think we have, like Engin said, like we have five or six matches uh, set already, but uh, he's definitely gonna uh, disclose those after East vs. West 11, but East vs. West 12 should break all the box office records, all the pay-per-view buys, everything. Uh, just because of these two guys, you know. If this would be the only match on the card, I think the the attention would be the same. Like nothing, nothing would uh, change, and it would be still a great event, you know. Even with the one match, just like this. But obviously, there there are gonna be like I don't know, twelve, fourteen matches probably. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, you may see your boy there in April as well. So stay tuned, guys. These are few. F these are few of the comments under two separate reaction videos by Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall. Not even strength fans understand how our sport works. In my opinion, arm sling should be arm only. I know the pros do this technique, but I never understood how pulling on a lever and using your body weight is arm sling. Uh, I was totally under the assumption that this was arm wrestling, not utilizing your body weight wrestling. In my book, that's cheating. Uh, true arm wrestling is your shoulders stay parallel, one person's left hand on the right elbow and vice versa. She's using her body weight to press down you preempt this first chance of winning is... She's cheating using her whole body, not just her arm. Arm you mean whole body wrestling? What else to use her whole body weight? Using her whole body weight. Uh, two arm sling is your shoulders stay parallel. One person's left hand on, on the right elbow and vice versa. Uh, no. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of new guys don't understand arm sling at all. They don't understand how uh, levers work. They don't understand how to pull safely uh, because if you would only use your arm like this, like this, we would see arm breaks literally every competition, like multi multiple arm breaks because in arm sling we are not pushing, in arm sling we are pulling. So when you pull, you don't create rotational force, or you create minimal rotational force in your humor, humerus bone. So that's why we are pulling with whole body weight, not just arm, and our arm and body follows each other, you know. That's the safe way of pulling, that's how you should be pulling, and that's how you should arm muscle. The guys, especially in the pubs or in schools, that arm muscle not on armsling tables, which is unsafe. Uh, armsling table is de is designed for the specific way of armsling that is safe for both pullers and minimizes injury risk. So when we are armsling, just with our arms, like if you're gonna press me this way, you'll never be able to pin my arm because it's it it just gets stuck right here. And if you start twisting like here and leaving your arm behind the shoulder, bad things will happen. And most of the guys that don't know what they're doing will do this move. So they will start losing and like try to gain it back but go outside the shoulder and break their arm. Because you can't pin the arm like this. It just doesn't bend this way. So that's why when we are winning, we are going with the whole body and when we are losing, we also follow the arm with the whole body. Uh, that's, that is the safe way of arm sling and that's how arm sling is, should be 
and uh, always uh, always was since the uh, like uh, VAF uh, beginnings and and since the arms thing became official sport in like I don't know 1960s or something I think we're gonna wrap it up here it's been half an hour already time just flew by and uh, I could talk for another hour or so but uh, the video would be way too long and uh, obviously I didn't get very far in in this, re this reddit uh, page like only three day worth of posts so uh, probably have to do this more often and a little bit more shorter maybe but uh, hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, tell me in the comments what you think uh, what you think of East vs West 11 what you think of East vs West 12 Devon versus Levan and who would you like to see me pull in April if I would participate in uh, in next uh, East vs West event so uh, yeah please leave a like on the video guys subscribe to the channel and uh, stay strong I will see you very soon.